Damien, bienvenue en Suède à Stockholm et à Djurgården. Merci beaucoup. Alors, tu es le premier joueur français en Djurgården, c'est pas mal ça Ouais, je savais pas. Tu... Vous me l'apprenez, ouais, c'est bien. C'est... Je suis très content d'être là, donc euh, c'est parfait. We can continue in English for our non-French speaking yeah. crowd. Um, have you spent time in Stockholm before? Uh, yeah, I played two years in uh, Södertälje, so I spent almost all my days in Stockholm, so I know pretty well. And uh, you were born in Caen in uh, northwestern France. Tell us a little bit about your childhood. Like I played hockey since I got three years old, so it's a long time ago, and uh, played a lot of soccer too. Uh, coming from a soccer family, so I'm the only one who's playing ice hockey, so it's uh, pretty strange, but it's uh, it's good. Was hockey a big sport in France when you were growing up? Uh, no, it's uh, still getting bigger now, but uh, like still nobody knows hockey and. Uh, and uh, yeah, we never talk about uh, the national team, for example. Like so, it's it's pretty tough. You started out in the club of your hometown, in Dracard de Caen. Uh, was there a lot of passion surrounding the club? No, not really. It's uh, it's a very small club, and uh, they are playing the highest level in France. But uh, they are almost last every year, so it's uh, it's a very small. And uh, but uh, but yeah, I got a lot of friends there, so I still follow the, those guys. And you also became the best young player during your last season in Caen. Was that a proud moment for you in your hometown? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was good. I don't think it was a proud moment for my hometown, but uh, but for me it was good, and for me it's for my family. Then you played for uh, Villard de Lan for uh, one season, and then you came to Grenoble, where you played for three years and became two-time French champion and cup champion, and you were awarded the, the French League Cup champion, and then you crowned your last season with being named the best French player of the league. You had some good years in Grenoble. Yeah, a lot of good memories, and uh, yeah, I still got uh, a lot of uh, friends there, and uh, yeah, I like this, uh, this team, and uh, give me a lot of things, so it was, it was perfect. And after your success in Grenoble, you signed for Vestros. What was the major difference between French and Swedish hockey? Oh, it's uh, like every guy is uh, are working so hard on the ice, and uh, and it's very very fast if you compare it to to France hockey. So it's uh, I mean to the French hockey. So it's a big difference. Now you played the last season in Finland. How was the how has the year been? It was pretty pretty fun. It was good. Uh, I mean, I had some good time there, and a uh, little bit tough because we were, we were last. But uh, but I have some fun, and uh, it's a, it's a very good league too. So it's uh, it was a good experience for me. And how would you describe yourself as a player? Uh, I like to score goals for sure, and uh, I work hard, and uh, and uh, yeah, I'm uh, like I'm playing every game for the team. So it's um, yeah, I'm this kind of player. And what are your memories of playing against the Jurgården? I'm sure you met them quite some time, or a couple of times. Yeah, a couple of times, and uh, great memories. Uh, I love to play in Hovet, so every time I was very exciting to play there. So it's um, so this is why I'm very happy tonight. Are there any players in Jurgården that you know of today? Uh, Marcus Lund, and uh, by talk uh, with uh, Mikke Samuelsson during the lockout because he was practice with us in Södertälje. And uh, no, after I play against a lot of players, so, but I don't know them uh, personally.